on 911. Sometimes the most dangerous situation is in your own backyard. Oh, ma'am. My throat is closing. Felt like she was drifting away. It's the next Rescue 我们在这里为您带来的是《Nine-One-One》。我们在这里为您带来的是《Nine-One-One》。我们在这里为您带来的是《Nine-One-One》。我们在这里为您带来的是《Nine-One-One》。我们在这里为您带来的是《Nine-
Okay, we're on the way there. Um, you can't tell me any more about it, where you're bitten, on what part of your body? I don't know what you're saying. Do you know where you were bitten? Hello? Apparently she was blacking out, losing consciousness, and inadvertently hanging up the phone. She sounded like somebody on her last breath of air. Because Las Vegas has an enhanced 911 system, John could read the caller's phone number off the screen automatically. Yes. Ma'am, this is the paramedics. We're on the way there. Okay, I wish you wouldn't hang up on me. Oh, I can't help it. We're on the way there. Do you know where you were bitten? My big right toe. A big what? Big right toe. What do you think it was that bit you? Spider. I can't talk. From what I could assess, she had anaphylactic shock. During anaphylactic shock, the lungs and throat constrict rapidly. Within minutes, a person's breathing and circulation can shut down completely. Do you know how long ago? Yeah. Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes ago? Nothing. No one's there with you? No. My throat is closing. I was extremely concerned about her airway closing from the effect of the shock. Dispatch rescue 13. Paramedic Ken Morgan headed to the scene. The delay in response time added to that critical factor. She was getting little to no oxygen to her brain, and they say four to six minutes, and it's over. Time was of the essence. Thank you. Okay, they've got that. Did I get her fast? If not, what? Did I get her fast? They've been coming from the airport now for eight minutes. This ran through my mind. When are they going to get there? I felt like she was drifting away. Go to the side gate. The back door. It's open. Dispatch rescue 13. She's telling me now that if you can't get in through the front, go through the side gate and the back door's open. Do you have an ETA? Dispatch is four minutes. Three minutes now. Copy, three minutes. They're going to be there in three minutes. Hurry. I think I'm dying. I've taken calls where I've been. I know the last person a person's ever talked to. It's not a good feeling, especially when you feel as helpless as a human can feel. I know it's scary for you. Hello? I can't. I can't say. I know. I want, you to, I want you to stay alert, though, okay? I know what you're trying to do. Okay. I just... I don't want you to, I don't want you to faint or uh, become unconscious, okay? I almost can. I know. I want you to fight it, okay? Paramedics arrived at Danielle's house within 12 minutes of her first call for help. The paramedics are there. They're out in the front, okay? I'm in the bedroom. Just tell him to come in. Dispatch Rescue 13, she's saying come in. She's in the bedroom. When we got to her, she did not even have the energy to uh, hold up the phone anymore. Dispatch 13 is located. Okay, we got you. Bye. Bye-bye. When we first looked at her, we knew right away this was serious. She had a real awful gray look to her. She had no blood pressure. She had no basic vital signs at all. It's very conceivable, had we have been delayed any short amount of time, there'd have been nothing we could have done for her. The second ambulance arrived almost immediately. Initially, we put her on some oxygen. We wanted to get that circulation back into her brain again. We had to give her some medication to stop the uh, reaction to the bite. We didn't get any response at all from her. And at that point, we started getting real concerned. All right, here we go. Watch the line. We decided it was time to get rolling. It gives you a rattle inside because you realize that this patient is close to death and you're very limited in the time you've got to keep the patient alive. Rescue 13 on channel 2, Adam. 
Dr. Cecchio at sunrise. Paramedics radioed ahead to the hospital where Dr. Leonard Cecchio was on duty. She was experiencing a massive cardiovascular collapse. It was a, a very tight call all the way to the hospital. Everything we tried wouldn't come back with a, a positive response. One of the last things we do before we unload is zap some vital signs out real quick. And at that point, it was the first time we actually got a decent blood pressure on her. And in fact, it wasn't a good blood pressure, but 60 is better than zero. It was evident to me that what we were doing was starting to work, but I knew she still wasn't out of the woods. By the time Danielle was wheeled into the emergency room, she had regained consciousness. She spent four days in the hospital. The doctors found no sign of lasting injury to her heart or brain. I don't want to do it again to have it fun. On the last day of her stay, Danielle received some very special visitors. Hi. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could ever tell you exactly how I feel about him. I mean, I, I just, it's just absolutely overwhelming. Feel good now? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. You can't believe it. This how is the guy that got us, Dad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you people, I just... Knowing that she was so near death and then to see such a jubilant, wonderful lady was like the difference between night and day. You had me worried. <laughs> It was just, it was very, very good to see that. I wish that I could tell you how good it feels to know that there was someone out there when I called to help. This was my life, literally, that they saved. And I love them. I adore them. Danielle and her husband, Joe, have since had an infestation of black widow spiders removed from their shed. Fortunately, anaphylactic shock reactions to black widow bites are not common among healthy adults. She needs to carry an anaphylaxis kit with her so that should she get bitten by another one, she can administer epinephrine immediately before it gets into the full-blown reaction she had this time, because it could kill her very quickly, as it almost did this time. Since mom had her accident, I've thought very much about what my life would be like if she didn't make it, and it scares me. I don't think I'm ready to be without my mom. It sounds crazy, as old as I am, but I love her more than anybody in this whole world. Next.